Tero. Here we are, girl. John! John! What? Well, this is kind of embarrassing, but I, I need a few things for a home remedy. A few things like what? Oh, just some whiskey. Peppermint, uh, milkweed, uh, some hair grease, and uh, oh, some skunk meat. What? <laughs> what have you been up to? Oh, it's a long story, but it really hurts. Yeah, if you're out and about and come across any of these things, well, I'd appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. <sighs> Thanks, John. Jesus, Uncle. I, I won't rise to it. I've got too much dignity. So you happy? I think so. And I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. Ah, you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie! <laughs> You're alive! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We... I... Saw her. I you thought look I... well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, well, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but tell me about you, darling. No armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, uh, he ain't looking for that kind of work. I took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I going to do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Write silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I got to bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business. You know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. You know, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course.
Say your goodbyes, John. We're off. You ready? Pop. Oh, man. We're going up into tall trees. Yeah. Hey. It's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was... It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or it, asking her, at least. Oh, my. I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about. And I, I think I know I want it. OK. I guess I thought you were married already long ago. 